What's up gamers, I'm John, and this is my Level Up News, where I bring you news every weekday. It's the top news I gather from around the web so you don't have to. Today's Monday, February 19th, 2024. Let's get you leveled up with today's news. The final DLC for Dragon Ball Z Kakarot is being released soon. The trailer shows off what may be a rematch for Goku and Vegeta. The trailer shows off Goku and his new blue Kai and his granddaughter Vidal practicing before heading off to the latest World Martial Arts Tournament. You will get to play as Videl and fight the big goon she fights in the anime, and then you will go up against Oob, which is the reincarnation of Kid Buu. This is the final fight in the anime, but it seems they will take it a step further and have you fight against Vegeta or play as Vegeta vs Goku. The DLC releases February 21st. Final Fantasy VII has some of the best voice acting in video games today. When they remade the game, some thought that Barrett's character would be a little hard to bring to modern times because he was so extravagant, but to be fair, they made him extravagant and awesome. The voice actor, John Eric Bentley, has played the original game and had this to say, This is awesome. I've never seen a black character in an RPG, says Bentley. And I'm like, oh, I'm sure he's about to die. And he didn't. And I'm like, oh, I'm hooked. He wanted to bring more character with a modern take. And I think he already is doing an amazing job. PlayStation has been reaching new fans by putting some previous titles on PC. To mention some, we have The Last of Us Part 1, Marvel Spider-Man, Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales, and Horizon Zero Dawn. They're all big hitters for PlayStation and now they're all big hits on Steam. They want to be more aggressive when it comes to bringing their first party titles to PC. This means that we could be seeing more faster ports coming to PC or even day and day like they did with Helldivers 2. PlayStation is trying to bring in more money like their competitors are, but they're taking a different approach. Let's see what the future holds for PlayStation and ported PC games. Arrowhead has been working really hard with the servers for the latest game, Helldivers 2. With all the success of Helldivers, the developers are not expecting to be overwhelmed when it comes to concurrent players. They had to double the capacity just a few days ago, which was 360,000 players, and now have pushed up the server numbers to 450,000 players. They promise to continue to further improve serviceability, so players won't be able to wait in the queue to play the game. We might be getting lucky because Capcom is rumored to have a demo lined up for us for Dragon's Dogma 2. The release date is March 22nd, so maybe a week or two before it's released. We can expect a demo for that already looking awesome game. The original Dragon's Dogma did get a demo when it originally released for PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 in 2012. We'll have to wait and see what they bring for us. Helldivers 2 has surpassed Starfield's most concurrent player count on Steam. The best part of this from the Helldivers side is that the game just keeps getting more and more players and the number is not stopping yet. Being that you can play crossplay between PlayStation and Xbox, this makes the perfect game to have friends to play with. The only downfall is that it's not on Xbox, but Phil Spencer did say that the game not being on Xbox isn't helping anybody. Here's the Sony hearing out Phil letting the game be ported to Xbox. According to Inside Gaming, the developers respawn are working on a new Star Wars game. The rumor suggests it's a bounty hunter game, which means we could be getting a Mandalorian type of spin-off game. They won't be the same character from the show but a spin-off where we play as a new bouncy hunter that we haven't met before. There are a lot of possibilities, but all we know is that if Respawn is behind the development, a great game is set to come out. And finally, Bandai Namco has cancelled at least 5 games from their lineup. The numbers have come out on this year's quarter and they are not good to the company. Compared to last year's sales, they are down 95.6%, which has caused all the cancellations of the games. The one thing that they want everyone to know is that they are still working on a very big update for Elden Ring and it will be coming out. Let's hope this one doesn't get canned either. And with that bundle of gaming news, I hope you got enough experience points to level up your gaming knowledge today. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that little bell notification so you don't miss any new videos coming out. Mm -hmm.